Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Gemini how are you welcome back this is your romance reading for September so your first card is give your s relationship a chance that is if you are hooked up work on your partnership so if you're not hooked up then get out there and start attracting be the beacon okay so if you that is if you would like to have a relationship but if you're hooked up and you're going through a slightly difficult time then give your relationship a chance. A relationship, a partnership, needs to be nurtured, needs to um, be taken care of. You need to communicate much more. Give and take, know each other's boundaries. That is also respect, having respect for each other. <laughs> okay, beautiful. And what to am I talking about? I see we've got the Ace of Air new communication start communicating a little bit more look at the baby there's passion in the air there's a new beginning okay um, yeah, I know Gemini I know what you're going through uh, you might have had a quiet moment because the baby is sleeping and you've got the dandelion seeds so you've been wishing for something perhaps you've been wishing for a baby well perhaps now this new beginning is here you might be finding out that you are pregnant because an ace is a new beginning okay but the swords stand for communication wisdom and honesty trust transparency and judicially so there might be a new beginning you might be getting married Ooh, nice one a new you might be partnering up with somebody a new beginning if you're not hooked up because you can charm the pants off anybody you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos so get out there and get a partner that is if you wish to be partnered up and if you are partnered up get some new fresh conversation get the knowledge go and find out what they're inter interested in what their hobbies are start doing more research about their hobbies and let them know that you're interested that will give you food for thought that will give you stuff to talk about and get the communication going and the passion going Woo! go for it okay um, your partner's interest might be gaming might be cyber so that is what I'm also getting from this card as well you might start a new cyber game with him or her 
right phoning each other playing games on the phone with each other <laughs> there's plenty of ways to um, be connected with your other half or you might be meeting somebody and there will be a more of a communication a new beginning in communication instead of just avatars it will be personal this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek that is if you're not hooked up okay now if you are hooked up then you might realize transparency insight Ooh, you might see him or her in a different way Ooh, you've been thinking about this I feel it I feel it my brain is burning <laughs> look at this there will be a new beginning if you are hooked up there will be a new beginning because you've got the magician and this is your card and also Aries the magician represents Gemini it's like a magi magician can do a lot of things at the same time like a Gemini they know what they want the magicians like an Aries so that is the magician a new beginning you might be going up to the next level in your relationship if you're partnered up Gemini with a Gemini or an Aries or an other air sign this is Gemini Libra and Aquarius if you're not hooked up and you might be hooked up with one of these signs there will be a next level up just give it a chance get the communication going get the interest going rattle their brain not only their heart or passion okay go 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 passion doesn't last like I said passion doesn't last love yourself first though your self uh, self respect makes you more romantically attractive yes passion doesn't last if you want this to last then do your magic love yourself first then you know uh, how to feel good and you can love an other and then you can grow closer together and give your relationship a chance do you love yourself when you look in the mirror do you see a beautiful Gemini that is nurturing loving caring that's falling in love when you fell in love hook line and sinker and are you still the same one no most probably not because we all grow and become more mature and different in a relationship sometimes we forget ourselves don't forget yourself that is the message you are worth being loved okay so let go of old habits love yourself first nurture yourself wear a little bit of makeup or if you're allergic to makeup then do something special with your hair or your nails just uh, do something else to make you feel better and to show your partner that you love yourself and you know how to love yourself respect yourself and you will start beaming again you'll be the beacon so be attractive not only from the inside but also from the outside don't close yourself off okay because if you do close yourself off you are closed off to fun you're closed off to your inner child you're closed you've, you've closed your heart off your mind off you're not being the true Gemini because you've got the four of Pentacles here and that means uh, to me that you close yourself off or you might if it's a general reading then you might be spending too much money and then it's a warning tighten up the purse strings and if you're not spending enough money in this case on yourself then you will not see the returns it's like an investment in yourself go to the hairdresser um, wear makeup pluck your eyebrows uh, have your legs waxed you will feel a hundred and fifty percent better you will love yourself even from the outside even if you're feeling insecure on the inside go and tickle yourself everybody needs to be tickled everybody needs to take time out for yourself don't forget yourself otherwise you will start feeling insecure and 
ugly. Love yourself by fe making yourself feel good. Open up. Be open to receive. So open your heart, your solar plex, and your mind. Be the true Gemini. Be inquisitive. Be eager to get more information. And you can make this a long-lasting relationship. You're the magician of your own life, and in this case, of both of your lives. There is a new beginning. Let go of control issues. Okay, let go of control issues. Let your inner child come out. Be more playful. Don't be too serious. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't say anything. L mm, do things differently. Be more exciting. Um, don't over exaggerate uh, the passion. Okay, or the love. Just do it with little gestures. Like, let's go for a walk with the dog, or um, let's go and sit in the garden and have a glass of wine or a glass of lemonade. Be together. Try to make more time for each other so that you feel good and that you feel loved by yourself and by your partner. You've got the Nine of Earth. Now, the general reading this week for you was also about work and money and new beginnings. A very exciting reading. So, there are good things happening. You are being a, a, a typical Gemini because you've got a busy, fully packed, exciting week. Wow! You've got the Nine of Earth, the Nine of Pentacles. There is money coming towards you. So you can take care or you can open up and spoil yourself and love yourself. Be nurturing. Look, you, the, the, um, you know, it, it's important to look at people from the inside, what they are from the inside. I totally agree with you. But on the other hand, the eye wants something as well. So go and buy a new dress if you don't wear makeup. Go and do something for yourself. Make yourself more excited, exciting and attractive to the other, your partner. Now for TLC of the soul, we have rising higher. Yes, rise high. Be the king or not be the queen but take the status of the king be noticed in other words notice guilt when it arises but see it only as a warning sign there you are you might be guilty of neglecting yourself so rise above that it is used as an instrument for the soul to notify you of having stepped out of alignment yes you did if you are neglecting yourself then rather than pummeling yourself with berating thoughts negative thinking it's enough just to refer to your conscious and inquire within as yourself am I being honest well you stand for honesty Ge uh, Gemini so be honest to yourself it is not nice it's difficult but don't have any disillusions be transparent like I said right at the beginning is there something I need to see about myself or another person that I may not want to see sometimes what you want prevents you from recognizing what you need your soul will always bring to you what you are truly in need of and while the truth can be uncomfortable, it is vital to acknowledge it and to act on your sincere thoughts and feelings. Rise above yourself through humility and by engaging the light of truth. There you go. And learn to compromise. Yes, tell your partner I need some time for myself. Learn to compromise your time. Learn to comp get the balance back in your relationship and with yourself. If you don't like talking about yourself, especially with your partner, just bring it up. Not 
promptly like boom right in the middle of your face but gently just say I love you because of this or that what do you love about me that is how you open, make an open or set an open question and they will come back with an answer you've got number 17 which is an 8 so you are in your power okay the power house and money house and we're talking about the money house here and also in your general there will be something material coming to you abundance this could be love because this is a love reading abundance will come to you more love will be given to you if you create it it's getting with also respect okay there might be a lot more respect for you because you're doing something about it you are loving yourself you're putting yourself out there you're getting noticed and you have the Queen of Cups so you might be meeting the Queen of Cups a Scorpio if you're not hooked up this could be a man or a woman but it's an the fem feminine side that's coming forward nurturing if you're not meeting up with um, uh, uh, a a Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces then you might be taking a heat of this warning that you are taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself a little bit more you've got the stalks so you might hear of a birth this could be of a child or this could be of a project a new project a new beginning new communications perhaps that's victory victory is yours perhaps a new study or a, um, a workshop together perhaps okay you're coming out of your shell like a newborn chick you might find out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions and that goes for the man too if you're a man and you don't want to become a father then take precautions okay you might be moving in together you might be moving home you might be buying that home together the a uh, ace of air is victory is a new beginning so it could be a new home okay the magic is happening around the first two weeks of September 360 degrees turnaround if you are not feeling loved you're nurturing yourself so there will be a turnaround abundance will be yours in your relationship so long you give it a chance and you open up the communications more this could be the birth to a new level the overall energy is the ace of earth new beginnings again a birth this could be of a child this could be of a project an investment an investment in a house as you've got the move card okay moving in together making also compromises learning how to make compromises um, and create durability in the relationship and that the relationship will turn out to be long term as the pentacles stand for durability and long term awesome or you might meet if you're not hooked up you might um, meet um, a Capricorn a Taurus or a Virgo and if you are hooked up with one of them then go for it um, I know you are fast and you might get a bit un impatient with the slowness or the the, the steadiness the, because you want excitement all the time and you might find it a little bit boring stay with it give it a chance don't throw it away work on yourself okay I hope you've enjoyed this reading um, Gemini take care and be blessed and stay safe and give us the thumbs up please thank you and have a look at the Virgo energy video as we are in Virgo energy you might just be surprised you might even be slowing down and mellowing out ciao ciao